Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. It's a real gift to have all of you in our community. Um, and we're thankful for your presence and your support. Um, I want to go ahead and introduce Dr. Brent Jones, our superintendent, to share just a few words. Yeah, thank you, Principal Lamb. Uh, it's, it's exciting to be here today. Uh, we're here because we have this concept of having a, a safe and welcoming environment a sense of belonging. We try to make sure that we make sure our students have uh, all the tools, all the environmental pieces, the climate for them to be successful. And one of those is the love that they experience in the kitchen. And the food is a mechanism to make sure that they, they're, they're well nourished, that they get to experience uh, staff that care about them. And it's really an extension of, again, like I said, our welcoming environment. Uh, a child's nutrition is one of the most important things that they start their day with, that they keep in the middle of their day, to really make sure that we're in a position for them to be, really meet the academic outcomes that we've been wanting them to meet. And so, uh, and then uh, meals are really important for that. So we have our professionals uh, that, are, that are serving in the culinary, uh, culinary program. We have our professionals that serve in our food service program. To my right and to my left, we have Aaron, Aaron Smith, who is the one who is directing all of the food service in, in, our, in our district culinary program. And then we have the wonderful, fantastic Dory to my right, who has been at Denny for many years, really creating that space for children to feel, students and children to feel welcome through, through food and through just really, again, creating a climate for students to thrive. So I want to kick it over to uh, one of our partners, one of our, our leaders in our city, uh, Mayor Harrell, who has been instrumental in, in having a broad, what a broad emphasis on our district to make sure that we have welcoming environment all across our district. So, Mayor Harrell, please. Thank you, Dr. Jones. I want to thank all of you for being here. A few thoughts. Uh, and by the way, I want to introduce uh, uh, Jessen Farrell from our Office of Sustainability and Environment. And uh, we have our proxy for Dwayne Chappelle, our Office of Education, but we do have our Office of Education represented here. A few things, a few thoughts. Number one is this is what I've experienced today, uh, where systems are working. Uh, under your leadership in terms of academic excellence, we looked at uh, where this school has been and where it is trending, and your leadership is paying off in dividends. So thank you for that, uh, the principal. Uh, for, for not only the academic excellence, but what I'm calling the spirit of the school. These kids are filled with love and joy, and as you've concentrated on the nu nutrition, nutritious element for their bodies, you're, you're, you're feeding their souls and their minds, so that's where systems are working. I, I know that, uh, I think you've been with this system for like 31 years or so, if I'm not mistaken, and I believe your husband retired after 48 years uh, as a head custodian. I do my research. <laughs> yeah. And you don't do that unless you're motivated by, I think, love. I, I think love. It's as simple as that. Yeah. This food that you're eating is nutritious and healthy. And we use local farmers and local producers circulating this love in our society. And I know I get a little corny when I say that. But I mean it. Sometimes it's okay to be corny. Sometimes it's cool to be corny. And so, and I probably scared Aaron when I said, "Well, you got a degree from marketing at uh, in, in Illinois, didn't you? And you went to that Port on Blue School or something." I says, "He could be doing other things with his talent, but he chose to pour it into these kids." So what's happening here at uh, this school and migrating to the south? is when systems are working. And my job as mayor, working with Superintendent Jones, to make sure they're safe. So we're gonna really double down on our issues of trying to make sure these kids are safe. And some of the answers will come from the kids themselves. Some of them will come from experts in the area of safety. Uh, but with respect to the sustainability food efforts, I I'm very pleased to be here. And, and, and quite frankly, this is what leadership and commitment is all about. So I want to thank you for uh, your family for pouring so much into this community in West Seattle. And I have to, I, I said one time when we finally fixed the bridge, by the way, we finally got the bridge <laughs> fixed. Someone gave me a quote and they said, I, I, help me out, Jim. One Seattle can only be one Seattle with West Seattle. That's right. There you go. One That's Seattle can only be right. one Seattle with West Seattle.
with that, I'll, I'll close and record any other comments we can see. Okay, my thing is, I wanted these two men to come out. I, I, I believe the state of the district speech. I believed it. I watched it. I sat there on my little tablet and I watched it. And Dr. Brent Jones said some beautiful things and then he comes on and he, the mayor goes, I want to become more a part of the school district. And I thought, all right, boys, let's, this old lunch lady's going to hip you to a few things. Wrote a couple of emails. Their executive assistants, absolutely fabulous ladies, came right back to me. Dory, let's do this. I went, Really? Let's do it. I call Aaron and Aaron's go, our, uh, Director Smith and he goes, oh yeah, okay, really? I said, boss, well, so I'm going to get this done. He goes, okay. Talk to, to, my, to my school board, Leslie Harris. I said, Leslie, guess? She goes, oh Lord, girl, what are you doing now? <laughs> so it turns out that I get my wish. What I wanted you to see was their faces. What I wanted you to see, we're not only teaching them love, we're not only teaching them, but these kids, some of them show up on our doors at 6.15 in the morning because they're coming in off the streets. They don't have warm clothes. They don't have, I let them in the door right there at 6.15, 6.30. I give them a warm place to be. I'm the first person they see in the morning. I'm going to make their day fabulous. Then they go to their teachers. They get an education. Then I got people like my people downtown working to give them a fabulous meal in the morning. My chef is teaching them things, teaching them about different vegetables. It's an education. How many how many times do you guys get persimmons? I don't get persimmons. I never <laughs> ate one in my old stinking life. How many times have you had an oyster mushroom or a shiitake mushroom? Chef Emmy makes all kinds of things for us. Aaron makes sure we get these cool things. We gave out the most food on the West Coast during the pandemic. We were here in the strike, all of us. Pouring down rain, these people would come out and work with us on the back dock, and we'd serve the kids food. We made sure so many kids in Seattle got food. Another thing, before Boracini's closed, because I'm part Italian, they call me, Dory, come on down, get some stuff. We all drive down, they load our cars to give the rest of the things they had in the freezer to my schools, Chief Self and Denny, to feed our neighborhoods. Mm, thank you. But that's the thing, we all work together. It's all about being in this together. It's about that face right there. Look at his face. That's the future. That could be a future mayor or a superintendent or a child nutrition director. Or you know what? It could be a president. You don't even know. You don't know what these kids can be. That's what we got to do. That's what we're doing here, guys. That's what we are doing. It's those faces. Look, that's what everybody's doing. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Dork. Quick, quick question for the mayor and the superintendent. Um, the kids weren't necessarily shy about asking questions today. What were some of your favorite questions the kids asked you? They, they asked me, was I the mayor? <laughs> and, and, and I got to say he was the mayor, uh, and uh, and I was proud to do that because the, the kids were very excited. Uh, one of the reasons they were excited that they hadn't seen they hadn't seen a, a mayor that looked like uh, Mayor Harold or myself, and so they really it really resonated with them. And I, they came up, and it was almost like they were in awe that we had leaders that looked like this in these positions. And so that was really powerful for, for, for many of the students. Well, they seem to be. I'm obsessed with how much money I make. <laughs> they must have asked me several times how much money do I make, and then I, I wouldn't answer the questions. And sometimes politicians dodge questions, and I said, "You don't do it uh, for the money." I said, "You do it." And then I think they wanted to know, uh, "Was my job easy?" And I said, "Well, uh, no, it's not." <laughs> Uh, but you have to keep uh, positive spirits and positive motivation. They seem to be a lot of, again, a lot of questions about materialistic things. What are you teaching them here? <laughs> How to be capitalist here that's to no not, end? That's uh, not us. Uh, yeah. But in, in all seriousness, a uh, few of them knew that I'm a Seattle Public School. Uh, graduate. I don't know how they knew that I was. We did our. Uh, we did our homework. They did our homework, and they knew I was uh, eating at uh, TT Minor School in Mini uh, Middle School and Exide Middle School, and and I was sharing with them my experiences. And I said, quite honestly, I felt like I was loved back in the day at these different schools. 
and um, the food allowed me to be nutritious, but I had to say, your food's a lot better than the food I was eating back in the day. <laughs> they want to know about that. And that's because of that man right there. <laughs> hey, boss, your turn. Uh, the, the, the best question I've been asked was, uh, am I the mayor's bodyguard? <laughs> <laughs> I took that as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> but this, this program is, is not just about providing nutritious meals and being fresh ingredients and local, but it's about culture. Uh, food plays a big part in everybody's life. The way you grow up, uh, where you come from, and Chef Amy, our district chef, had done a great job of incorporating those different cultures throughout the menu, where every kid has a place where they feel welcome. And then we have amazing kitchen staff, kitchen managers like Dory, Lunch Lady Dory, who just takes one thing and creates something amazing like this. Yes. And the, the program itself is, is always evolving, but the number one goal is to support the students, to make sure that they get meals where they are they're fed, they stay focused in school, but also give them an opportunity to learn about the student next to them, where they come from, through food. And that's one big thing that I take a lot of pride with, with this department is introducing to different types of cuisines, creating conversations, having them socialize and learn from one another through food. All those flags up there are represented by a child in our school. Every single solitary nation, every single solitary one, the Indian tribes, all of them. All of them are represented of every child in the school who's from one of those countries. And they're very fast to share where they're from. So with, with, with uh, Director Harris and Miss Emmy giving us all these different things, these cool things that they've never seen before, it's been wonderful. It has just been wonderful. It's better than a pizza, a hamburger. I, I told, I told uh, Director Smith, please, can we get away from the pizza, the hamburgers, the chicken sandwiches? Can we just snap it up a little? And that's exactly what they're doing. And it's, it's working. It's working. You know, one of the points I, I wanted to make was a lot of you know, our role is partnering with the district is one of our revenue streams is a sweet and beverage tax. And when we looked at that, we found out in other cities what they were doing before we decided to impose it. I was on the city council at the time. We particularly looked at what communities were most adversely affected by high sweetened beverages. And part of our effort, of course, is to pour this money back into those same communities as we look at this revenue source. And now you see that it's working, because I sure grew up on some of those, some of that greasy food. <laughs> We all did. And um, so this is nice to see how we're recycling the dollars from the generous public on the sweet and beverage uh, tax uh, revenue source we have.